Hey guys, it's Beano, and I just got... I just beat the boat race four more times. Which is good, because now I can afford two of every item. You always want to have at least two, in case if you mess up. Anyway, we're going to buy that. We're going to buy that. Yes, I take it. Croc is a bit illiterate. And you commenters, make sure... Make sure to properly chromaticize your sentences. Because seriously, you look a lot smarter if you type smart. So it's a 40, 60, 80. So that's 180, and then clockwork combo is 50, so that's 230. Two th yeah, 230 two for every item. And that's it. By the way, this this thing, if you want to, this is the crystal ball. I can use it to send you to faraway places where with Croc wants to go. Croc never been ever anywhere. Oh e, oh e, oh e. La 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 la. The other problem is that you gotta leave the shop by sitting through its dialogue. But anyway, we're pretty much done there, so we're ready to start the next stage. Can I save or is it just yeah? It just auto saves, I guess. Help, help! What's wrong? Cubbos go walk in jungle, Dantini come, kidnap friend, and lock him up in cage. Cubbos scared. Friend need help. Croc will help him. So, yeah, we gotta help friend. Disc. Work disc. There you go. So anyway, if you don't really know the layout of the stages, then you'd probably be playing this one first. I was just playing those other two first, because they were probably my favorites of the whole place. This is a good stage, I like it a lot. Help, Dantini's lock in cage and hide key in cave. Lock in cage, key in cave. And the cave's up there. How do you get up there? Well, that's actually the exit. Oh, by the way, the enemies respawn. I thought I'd like to load that again. This is probably the easiest of the stages. It's also probably one of the best to introduce to the game. So yeah, this fancy box, you can push it, and then you can jump up here, and then you can get that. And then you can go over here and hit this gong. You don't hear that tune in this game, no. You just kind of finish the stage, that's about it. Anyway, if you go in here, you can go freak out, because you've got these enemies. The other weird thing is that if I jump, you can see that they're not attached to anything. They're also even just regular enemies, there's no the vine, is just part of the the enemy. I also like how they're just like clonk 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 clonk. And also remember to jump properly. The music's still awesome. That's good. Um, the butterflies too. Now this is why you may not like the stage because there's really, really strange jumps. And also, you've got vines that swing on, and you may just be wondering how the heck is that, what is that connected to? It's, just, it's, suspe it's suspended by disbelief, <laughs> obviously. Jeez, what else, how else could it be held? Anyway, so this is, this is why the stage is kind of iconic. It's got like this nice boardwalk section with spikes below. Jeez. Someone wants you skewered. So, yeah. Dang it. So yeah, if you get hit by the by evil stuff three times, and by the way, that is there is no swimming in this game, by the way, so you can try it. Um whoop, disc lag. Um uh, yeah, if you if you touch a pit three times in a row, that'll actually warp you back to the checkpoint. That's what the that is. That's what the checkpoints do. But you only get one hit for that, so yeah. I know, these guys make me panic. So I've got two of everything, and shameless advertising, thank you very much. Alright, let's do this. I'm not going to try this twice, but I'm just going to try it. Try to get all the crystals. I'm calling them crystals for once, oh goodness. Can I get the heart? Yeah. And then I got an email. I seem to have trouble on these before, I don't know why. Alright, let's go. 
Oh, this is also another reason. There's a hippo, and he bounces you up, like, so high. So, anyway, yeah, it's just a nice casual stage. Anyway, we're almost at the end of it, because you can tell by the number of gems. That was a great jump. Those guys. No matter if I'm gonna get hit by them, I'm just gonna take as many hits as I want. So, got the key. Did that. Go over to this. I don't want that. Oh, yeah, I'm on full. Anyway, the golden gobba should be somewhere. Oh, he's right up, right up there. This is, yeah. <laughs> See, see, that's why the first one wasn't a great example, because it was rather easy. This one's kind of tricky. One, because of that jump, and also, yeah, if you hit the lava, you're pretty much out. So, yeah, just try and get that right. Other than that, though, if you get it, then it's all good. Yeah, you can just finish the stage. And then... <laughs> Thank you, use the door, Croc came through. So literally the stage just says, just exit the stage. No fancy exit, you just exit the stage. I mean, I know it's right here, and I know there's even a sign pointing there, but... Kind of strange. Thank you, Croc, no problem. <laughs> now here's my problem. In that previous... Um, in that stage last part, you know, you didn't get any... I used one of these, right? Sure. I didn't really get that much from all of these. Clockwork Gobbo, you get. Yeah, you don't really get that much from them. So you'll pretty much be losing money for the most part if you try it. Except you're gonna need them anyway, so... Economy is messed up. Also, the magic eyes of his aren't very useful. Don't use them that often, to be honest. Oh, Gobbo in trouble. Gobbo in big trouble. Why Gobbo in trouble? Gobbo told to protect treasure. Gobbo fall asleep. Then Tini's come and take treasure. I have five boxes and scary one. Gobbo in big trouble now. Croc, Gobbo, 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 treasure. Gobbo not be in trouble. My nose is at door. Anyway, the awesome music has a redux. So anyway, this stage has three separate sections. You would be crazy if you were trying to get that hard there. But anyway, this stage has three sections. Trying to get all the crystals is just insane. So let's try and get them all. Because, one, you're going to have to try and jump on these. Two, you're going to have to lean to sides. So for the most part, I'm going to be jumping off and back on. Trying to get these. And also because they put colored crystals in the way as well, so you may as well go back. And the angle's a bit hard, but thankfully you can try this many times. I know this tune. Oh, and this is also why. No, they're not like threatening you that much. You know, with boxes to have a picture of a bomb on the side, and then they explode when they hit the ground. They also seem to have a weird shape. They explode when they touch the bomb. Anyway, when they said hide five boxes, basically there's five boxes hidden, and I believe they also give you ten crystals each. So pretty much half the crystals is just gonna be from. Boxes. Am I gonna jump? When am I doing? When, do? when do I need to jump? Ah, oh, dang it, I missed it. Oh, I missed it so bad. Oh, couldn't get that one. Got that one. Yeah, it's gonna kind of be a monotonous. Me just going through these passages. It's way cool though, isn't it? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, Dad. I really missed that, seriously. Oh, dude. Okay, right, come on, you can get it. You can't get it on the way up, that's even the biggest problem. Truck with time. Oh. Now, by the time I'm uploading this, someone's announced the iPhone. 
I haven't. I'm recording this on the weekend in advance, so. All I can say is they can't top it. Let's check your surroundings, okay. The design in this game is actually a bit brutal when you think about it. It's a pretty tricky on the wall, these things. Like, look at this, seriously. Side. Hope you remember which way is the right way. Alright, game stop lagging. Turn. Game. Game. I actually blame the disc in this sense. Because I'm not running it in any way. This is purely my PC running this game. What side is it on? Oh dang, I jumped over it. Oh, there you go. But thankfully, it stops at the other end, so you can always go back. There you go. And it's just straight ahead, so... All good. Now the other confusing thing is that... You know how in the last stage, when they said... You know, you can just exit the stage... And now that'll, that'll be it. In this stage, you have to kind of know that you gotta exit the stage once you pick up the five thing, the five chests. Make sure you pick up those five chests before. So I'm gonna go this way. Oh gosh, can I pick them up? Because then they're really tricky with this. Because you gotta do one of those jumps in order to get up. Oh. And then they put that there, and then you're just like, oh. Try to get them on the way back. Some weird conveyor belt action. I remember watching someone review this game and they completely bagged down on the controls and they kept dying at this bit. I'm like, jeez. Don't bag on the controls if you're just not good at the game. I mean, seriously. I may have grown up with this game, I may have played this stage several times. But it's, it's kind of different, anyway. But I'm not blaming the controls on it. Maybe on the PlayStation version, I don't know. Because I, I'm cool with the tank controls. Yeah, this is the one I mean. I mean, like, jeez. They put that heart so far away. Thankfully, yeah. Probably one of the longer stages just because if you're trying to get 100% of the crystals. There you go. Just two nine. Oh yeah. I don't care why 69 the subject of it. There's tons of other positions based on numbers. It's just. What is it? I don't, I don't understand why. Only this one. Alright, let's see if we can get... Dang, I jumped one. <laughs> and then you're like, these guys are in there too. I'm gonna play Dragon Force on the rails. <laughs> I'm seriously merging this cart with the... It's not even a cart, it's like a piece of wood attached with wheels. But these ones do have swings. Ropes. 
unfortunately, I'm not good at this. But I believe there is a... Anyway, the hot pots. You know how I said there was one last? Oh. Jump on the other end. You know how I said there were more heart containers, so to speak? I believe they're in other worlds. So there's four worlds in this game, or... Or something, I don't know. Anyway, we got the fourth one. Oh dang it, Steve. They always put it in the weird positions there. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Especially because... Yeah, there would be the other three. There's two more. Get to jump for that. Oh, gosh. Get to jump for that one. And then, yeah. These are the last crystals of the stage, anyway. I also don't think there's ever crystals in the Goblin Combo section. Alright, come on, we can do this. We can do this. Ah! Come on, man! I'm doing so well! Almost. So we can listen to the music more. Yeah. Yep. There you go, you got it. I like how it opens the other door. I know the door is activated by, like, say, when the cart is near. Open the door, release the Kraken. Anyway, let's slide down this hill. Jeez, we're a seat belt. Okay. I promise we're almost done with this stage because we've got. one of the tallest rooms you've ever seen. Up. Yeah. Remember when Toy Story did it? This came out a year before, so technically this game did it. Ha <laughs> ha! See how tall we can make these rooms. It actually doesn't look as bad now, because you can obviously see the, the general wall shape just bulging at each floor, so to speak. And there's that last one, which means a hundred. Take a balloon down. Balloon down. Oh, that's kind of funny. Be sure not to miss that. Where are we going? Oh, there's one left. Well, that's because we need a blue one here. Oh, I missed. And yeah, now this is what I mean. This one's probably the most annoying one because not only do you have to swing it, but you're also being shoved being moved away from it. So thankfully I did that on my first go. That was pretty well done actually. And anyway you may be going, so what, what's in this one? This one just literally goes around the corner and there you are. So since we've opened all the chests we can just exit the stage and he'll praise us. Thank you Croc, no problem. So anyway, I'll see you guys next time. I'll restock on my items. And we'll head off to the last stage and then we'll see what is in store. This is what is in store because it's in the store. Of course. Walla walla. Walla walla.